Hi guys! So in this video, I will discuss about the quotient rule for the derivatives of functions. So, let's say we are given h of x equals to f of x divided by g of x. Then, using the quotient rule, we can find the derivative of h of x, which is h prime of x equal to g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x all over the square of g of x if f prime of x and g prime of x exist. Okay, so the formula is quite a bit uh, long but you will get used to it once you tried more examples to solve using this formula. So basically, you can interpret quotient rule as for the numerator, um, copy the denominator, then multiply it by the different derivatives of the numerator minus copy the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the square of the denominator. So, let's try some examples on how we can apply quotient rule in finding the derivatives of functions. So, for the first one, we have y is equal to 2x cubed plus 4 over x squared minus 4x plus 1. So, it is an example of the quotient of two different functions. So, we can let this numerator as f of x and the denominator as g of x. Therefore, we have f of x over g of x. And we can apply the formula now for the quotient rule to find its derivative. So, y prime will be... So, let's copy the denominator, which is g of x, and it is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1. Multiply it by the derivative of the numerator, which is f of x, and the derivative is 6x squared plus 0. Oh, sorry. So, simply 6x squared. Then, minus, this time, let's copy the f of x, which is 2x cubed plus 4. Then, Multiply it by the derivative now of the denominator g of x. So the derivative will be 2x minus 4. Okay. And this will have a denominator of the square of g of x. So x squared minus 4x plus 1 squared. So... Now we're done with the differentiation. We'll now proceed to the simplification, basically the numerator. So let's try to simplify each terms of the numerator. So let's just distribute 6x squared. So we have 6x to the fourth minus 24x cubed plus 6x squared. And then for this part, using the FOIL method for the product of two binomials, we have 2x cubed times 2x will be 4x to the fourth, but we have negative, so it will become negative 4x to the fourth. 2x cubed times negative 4, which is negative 8x cubed, but we have negative in front so it will become positive 8x cubed 
4 times 2x will be 8x with a negative, so it will become negative 8x. And then for the last part, positive 4 times negative 4, negative 16 times negative, positive 16. Over the square of this quantity. Then let's combine similar terms in the numerator. So we have for the x to the fourth, we have 6, negative 4. So that's also 6 minus 4 will be 2x to the fourth. And for the x cubed, we have negative 24 and positive 8. So we have negative 16x cubed for x squared. So we only have 1, which is 6x squared. For the x, we have negative 8x. And for the constant, we have positive 16. So we will have now the denominator for x squared minus 4x plus 1 quantity. And this will be the final answer. Now let's proceed to another example. So let's have y is equal to sin x over 1 minus 2 cos x. So again, let's take sin x to be our f of x and this will quantity 1 minus 2 cos sin x to be our g of x. Therefore, applying again the quotient rule for the derivative, we have y prime equal to copy g of x which is 1 minus 2 cos sin x and the deriv multiply it by the derivative of f of x which is sin x and its derivative is cos sin x then minus copy now f of x which is sin x times the derivative of the denominator g of x so its derivative will be negative 2 times derivative of cosine x is negative sine x and then the square of the denominator so 1 minus 2 cosine x quantity square then we're done with the differentiation is then all we have to do now is to simplify the numerator so let's distribute cosine x so cosine x minus 2 cosine squared x and in this part we have positive 2 sine x times negative sine x will have negative Two sine squared x, right? Then copy one minus two cos x quantity square. Then we can uh, factor out the common factor here, which is negative two. So it will become cosine x minus two. Then we have cosine squared x plus sine squared x all over 1 minus 2 cosine x quantities and you notice this will be equal to 1 so we'll now have our final answer to be cosine x minus 2 over 1 minus 2 cosine x quantity square so I think that will be the final answer so that's it guys for the quotient rule and I hope you learned something from this tutorial and see you again for more videos and thank you for watching guys